hello and welcome back to the channel in this tutorial i'll be sharing with you a requested video of how to make this dress with a side gathers so if this is something you like please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button let's dive right into today's video so first here is my pattern and i've gone ahead to use it to cut out the material and also the lining and this is the side so part of the to dress label my pattern as f meaning front because I have a similar pattern for this for the back. After I'm done doing this, I'm just going to go ahead to open up my pattern. And before opening up, at the center part, I cut my fabric on fold. And I added half inch on top and beside and at the lower parts. I will just go ahead and unpin my dress and I will open it up. So this is what I have if I unfold my fabric and this is what the lining looks like so on the lining piece i'll be ironing gum stay on it i'll be using light gum stay on it so it's either you use an sa or a light gum stay do not use a thick interface for your lining for this particular dress for the sides i added half inch on top in front and underneath it and i'll just go ahead and unpin my pattern and i also cut out the lining piece and the main fabric for this so i'll be using this pattern to cut out the wording of my dress you can also use your already made cup sorry for this pattern and i'll just go ahead to chop this out so this is what i'll be using to pad my dress this is what i'll use to cut out my wording and i'm using a light wording for this dress so i'll place this on fold and i'll be cutting this on fold and the part going towards the front there's no joining allowance in front i'll be cutting it together as one piece but for the other side i will be adding half inch on both sides so for my wording i don't like adding half inch on top because i feel i'm still going to notch it or trim it out to avoid the upper part of my dress bulky i'll just add by the sides and also at this point i'll be adding in front of the fabric and i'll cut exactly what i have at the under bust and on top so if you like adding half inch on top of your wedding go ahead to do so but i prefer leaving mine this way so that by the time i sew and notch it will not affect the upper part of my dress so i'll just go ahead and notch the part that will be facing the joining area of my fabric so i'll bring the main material and i'm going to place it and then place my wording underneath it and when you're placing your wording make sure you place the shiny part that is the part that has the gum on your fabric and i'll also open the center piece i'll place on it and i'm going to be ironing this so i'll go ahead and i will join this with half inch and join the other side so i'll also join my lining piece also so on my lining piece this is what i have i went ahead to iron soft gum stay on it or if you have sta you can also iron and this is the back i went ahead to join it with half inch and i've also ironed my wording on it so next i'm going to go ahead to turn my dress i'll place this this way and i'll pin make sure the joining you have at the center meets the joining at the front part also and i'll just go ahead and pin my pattern after pinning i'm going to go ahead to sew half inch on top and i'll push down the half inch to the lining part and i will top stitch it i'll top stitch all my allowance to the lining part and then i'll go ahead to stitch the side and also stitch the lower part so after that we'll be moving over to the back pattern so here is my back pattern i added half inch on top by the side and underneath it at the zipper area i did not add half inch i'll just go ahead and open this so now you have to notch the part that is going towards the main fabric it will help you place your fabric or your joining because at the back both sides look looks similar so for the other side of the fabric i added half inch on top by the side where we'll be joining and underneath it so this is what i have also and the same thing i'm doing to this fabric i'm also going to do it to the lining but the lining i'll be ironing a an sta or soft gum stay on it and this is the side of my pattern so here is the back after i'm done ironing this is what i have so the gum stay i had at home was not enough so i just went ahead to iron the upper part 
so i'll place the main fabric on the lining and i'm going to be stitching with half inch so i have an excess by the side of my lining and i'll just go ahead to trace it out so what i'm going to do is to go ahead to stitch with half inch on top of at the top part of my fabric and after i'm done stitching it i'm going to go ahead to top stitch the half inch that i sewed on the lining then stitch the sides and also stitch the lower part with half inch so after i'm done stitching the both sides of my back here here is what i have so i'll just go ahead and place this and i'll run a top stitch on it so while i'm doing that is why i'm doing that is so that when i'm attaching the ruffle by the side or the gathers i won't be having any excess at that point i'll also repeat that to the front pattern so just to make sure that you understand what how i turned the dress i turned it to the wrong side so i stitched with half inch here stitch all the allowance to the lining stitch the side and i stitched the lower part so so here is the front pattern of the dress and i've also gone ahead to turn it just like we did for the back pattern and i'll be top stitching that lower part of the dress also so that i can go ahead to join the gathers to it so before we go ahead to stitch i went ahead to fold in my zipper allowance i went ahead to mark one inch for my zipper allowance and i used pin to hold it down so i'm just going to go ahead to shape this dress and i will place this and pin it down by both sides of the pattern after i'm done pinning down we are going to go ahead to mark our measurement i'll start from my under bust where it starts place my tape mark and mark my bust line from there i'm going to mark my waistline and we'll be inserting my measurements so at the bust i'll go ahead and measure what i have there and what i have there is 20 inches after that i'll be measuring what i have at the center of my dress and what i have there is about seven inches taking seven inches out of 20 inches i have 13 and a half and i'll fold my tape divide it into two and i'll just go ahead and mark it at both sides of my pattern. after that i'll go ahead and also repeat the same process at the under bust of my dress but if you're having difficulties in marking this you can just use the normal method of shaping your dress and if you're sure you shaped out just half inch from your allowance what you're going to be marking on each side of your pattern will be one inch so just like i said the sewing allowance we added was 1.5 and we shaped or we turned our fabric with half inch so you'll be having one inch left so i'll go ahead and mark one inch on my pattern from this part after measuring what i had at the bust i'll just go ahead and mark one inch at both sides of my pattern so i actually measured my bust part because we we removed a dart at the upper part and we replaced it so most times you might have an excess at that part so it's very important for you to calculate that and if you're sure of your measurement you can go ahead and mark half inch at sorry one inch at both sides of your pattern so after i'm done connecting i'll just go ahead and cut the lower part of this dress so to cut the lower part here are my pattern and i've gone ahead to mark half inch on top for my starting line and another half inch for my joining so by the side i also marked half inch on this pattern so i'm going to go ahead to place my pattern but before i go ahead to place i'll place all my pattern together and i'll take the longest measurement on the pattern so what i have here is 16 and a half and i'll start this from the second line that i drew so i'll mark that 16 and a half all the way to the end of my pattern so this will help me or guide me when i'm placing my pattern so to place i'll start immediately after that half inch and i'll place it on that 16 and a half inch line so after this i measured about three and a half inches and i placed my pattern and pinned down so the next step is also to go ahead and measure that same three and a half inches i'll mark and then place my pattern so this three and a half inches is not a constant you can use more measurements you can use five six 
or 10 inches so the more space you give the more gathers or ruffle you're going to have at the side of your dress so i don't want mine to be too much if you want you can make yours as full as what we have on the thumbnail but i don't want mine to be too full so that i can be able to wear it and i'll just go ahead and continue marking so now we are going to go ahead to start the other side which is the back pattern and it is a bit tricky so now your hip at the front and your hip at the back is meant to meet just like the sides of your dress that is where your hip is going to be but if you place it at the other end because the hip at the front ended at this other side your pattern will not turn out well so what i'll do instead of placing it i'll just turn it the other way around instead of placing it with the front i'll turn it to the side so that it will follow the same shape that i have on the other side so after that i'll mark the same 3.5 inches and i'll start placing my pattern so if you find that part confusing also please ask your question at the comment section so for the back pattern instead of me placing it from the front i'll be turning it the other way around because if i place it it will not follow the same shape that i have on this other part after measuring this 3.5 now what i'll do is take this and i'll turn it the other way around just like i did because if i if i leave it that other way it will not follow the shape that is the slanting shape we have from the side all the way to the up so i'll go ahead and measure that same three and a half inches here and just like we did for the other parts if i leave it this way the shape at the upper part will change so i'll just go ahead and turn it this way now i'll just go ahead and trace out the shape i have on top and i'll be adding half inch for joining allowance So while cutting out, I will notch the part going to the front twice and the part going to the back once and also notch the center of the dress. So after that, I went ahead to fold the lower part and I also made a loose stitch on this which I will drag and form a gathers. So if you want yours to be very full, on one side of your ruffle, you can use up to 2.5 inches or 3 inches also and you can also attach clean on the lower part or turn this side of your dress with lining and attach a stay at the lining part so after this this is the front part of my dress and this is the joining remember we shaped the dress earlier so now i'll go ahead and attach the gathers or ruffle that i have made for it so i'll go ahead and start with the front and i will start pinning this and after pinning it i'll also pin the the upper part immediately after that joining from the side to the center you're going to start pinning the ruffle side and you can also create a pleat with your ruffle if you have enough fabric so i'll just go ahead and pin this all the way to the other end and i'll be stitching with half inch So after I'm done pinning, this is what I have. I'll go ahead to run a stitch on it. So next, I'll just turn this to the other side and I'll measure about one inch and I will be pinning this down. So I'll stitch one inch at the lower part. So for the zipper line, I'll measure 
about 7 inches down after my waistline and I'll mark 1 inch all the way up which I will use to attach my zipper and I'll mark 1 inch at the lower part and also repeat this at the other side of my pattern. So I'll stitch the lower part and also add my slipper allowance to it. So here I'm done stitching. This is what the sides looks like and I'll go ahead to sew the other side. So after I'm done sewing, this is what my dress looks like and I've also attached my zip. So I'll go ahead to attach a sleeve to this dress. So for your sleeve, you need to measure from the front to the back part of your dress. And whatever you have, you're going to be cutting it on food. So mine 14 was inches. Mine was 14 inches, and you can add half half inch on it, making it 15 inches for joining allowance. So I'll be cutting two at a time, and I'll also cut another one. I will be using both the main my main fabric as the lining lining for the sleeve of the dress and i'll be cutting out two pieces so i'll go ahead and stitch up the side so the length the width is about nine inches so after i'm done stitching i'll just go ahead and fold this and pin it down i'll be top stitching with half inch and also fold the back and also put it at the back part of my dress and pin so i'll be top stitching this after doing this i'll also repeat this for the other side of my dress so after i'm done pinning this is what i have i'll go over to the sewing machine and i'll top stitch this with half inch so after i was done sewing this is the final look of the dress so if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up thanks